Hello, thanks for joining me. My name is Kelly Graytalk. I'm a plastic surgery recovery nurse. And today I'm talking about what to do when you're at home after your mommy makeover or breast reduction or any, any type of surgery that happens with your body. If you're at home or your Airbnb or wherever you're deciding to recover, you find yourself uncomfortable or in pain, what to do. Before I get started, before we jump in, please subscribe to my channel. You're not signing up for anything, it's free. You're just pretty much subscribing so whenever I post a new video, ding, you'll get a little message saying that I have a new video. So first off, who am I and why can I even talk to this? So my business is Kelly Gray Talk Private Nursing. I travel around a few different states and I take care of patients after plastic surgery. I just do plastic surgery. I love it, it's my jam, it's my passion and so, you know, it's there's this saying called, I think it's something like, you're an expert at 10,000 hours. I can't wait till I get to 10,000 hours. But um, I am doing this so often now that I start to see patterns and I start to see things that work, things that don't, don't work, you know, what my most successful patients do, what they don't do. And so that's what I love about this channel. So I can come on here and talk to you at length, at leisure, and give you kind of tips and tricks and things that you can do during your recovery that really will make a big difference if you find yourself in certain situations. So I also want to talk about pain medicine um, on here because this is obviously an appropriate place to talk about it. So over-the-counter and narcotics. One thing I want to tell you, I get some patients who literally don't pick up the prescription for narcotics. They are strong arming, taking narcotics the whole time. They don't want to do it. They feel like it's a big failure if they finally give in and take narcotics. This is, listen to me, <laughs> this is crazy. First off, your surgeon wouldn't prescribe them if they didn't feel like you may be uncomfortable enough to take them. So it's appropriate to take them. And you also, and this is the biggest thing, even if you feel, sometimes people don't even feel like localized pain in one place. They're just overall like agitated, most, mostly I would say uncomfortable. And so this is a perfect time to take half of a narcotic if you're really, really hesitant to take narcotics. Some of my patients take, never take even one pill and they do great. Some patients kind of sprinkle them in or just take them at night. Some patients are on narcotics round the clock for the first few days. All of those are appropriate. Um, you know, once you're through the first few days of your recovery, you definitely are gonna have to reassess, assist, this, reassess the situation and you're gonna feel much better and you're not gonna need them. And please, like I said before, you can always cut them in half and you can always take half, which is brilliant, especially if you're one of those people that really doesn't wanna be taking the narcotics at night or just feeling like you can't get comfortable, you can always just try half and see how you do. Of course, you always want to take any pain medication or any medication for that matter when you have something in your stomach. There's another video on that. Okay, so medicines aside, oh, actually wait, I have one more, one more important thing. Of course, you're always gonna follow your surgeon's order, orders, but most surgeons after plastic or cosmetic surgery do not want you taking ibuprofen, Aleve, Motrin, or ibuprofen, Aleve, Motrin, or Advil. You don't wanna take those because they can thin your blood and we don't want that to happen. We don't want you to get a hematoma. We just don't want you to have any problems. So that's why they usually will recommend Tylenol. I also want to say, and I don't wanna overwhelm you, so hang on here. I'm gonna, I'll put something up on the screen that kind of breaks this down a little bit better. Um, you want to make sure if you're taking Tylenol and you're also taking your narcotic, a lot of times the narcotic will also have Tylenol in it. So you want to be careful of that because you're only supposed to have a certain amount of Tylenol per day. I also wanna note, Tylenol and acetaminophen are the same thing. I swear, I don't know why they do this. I remember when I first became a nurse, all the medications have two names and it is incredibly confusing. So I'm going to, I'll put something up, like I said, that makes it really easy to understand. But you know, you're, um, you just want to, you don't want to overwhelm your kidneys. So pretty much, if you're going to take uh, both, you just want to be really careful and you might have to like, you know, just do a little math. But I'll, I'll put something up to make it really easy. So now that we've talked about, talked about medications, what can you do, medications aside, that are gonna make you feel better? So you've just had your breast reduction, mommy makeover, 360 degree lipo, body lift, thigh lift, whatever, what can you do? So first off, you wanna make sure you're sleeping appropriately because you're probably gonna either be in a recliner 
um, or in bed for a good chunk of the day. You're gonna be up, of course, and moving and deep breathing and all that, but you wanna make sure you have a wedge pillow. Unless your surgeon has specifically said to lie flat, which is pretty rare, you want a wedge pillow. That's a, just a firm pillow that's going to keep you elevated in bed. I've had patients try to just use pillows. I'm telling you, I keep now I keep a wedge pillow in my car because even the patients that are like, really, I got this, I end up getting the wedge pillow because they can't get comfortable. So a wedge pillow, and then even better if you have one of the smaller, some of these wedge pillows have an accompanying smaller wedge pillow for under your knees, and that way you can um, just have a nice natural bend in your knee, which feels really good. If you don't have that smaller one, just pop a pillow under your knees. That will make you really super comfortable. I also recommend, you might find yourself in this situation where you're like either between pain medicine or your pain medicine hasn't kicked in yet, or you're just like, I just describe it as just kind of, my patients sometimes just get like, just super agitated and uncomfortable. If you have been in bed for a while, that is a great time and you're not gonna wanna do it, but this is a great time to literally get out of bed and just kind of re, re zhuzh up the room, zhuzh it up as my sister would say. So like, you know, have your person, of course, help you. You don't want to be pushing and pulling and things like that, but just kind of redo the sheets, refluff the pillows, reorganize things. And then I would have your person, whoever's helping you, you can do it yourself, but it's sometimes nice, especially when it comes to anything in the back to have someone help you. Any compression garment or ace wrap or bra, anything you have, very gently just grab the seam and just kind of readjust it on everything, even your thighs, if you have a compression on your thighs, anything you have, just kind of move it a little and readjust it. You don't have to give it a big yank, but sometimes if you have a compression garment, sometimes when my patients get out of bed, their compression garment will be literally bul bulgy and hiked up. Just kind of straighten everything out, make everything lovely, take a few deep breaths, and then try to get back in bed. And if you can, if you can convince your person to do this for you, it's really helpful too, especially if you have not had liposuction to your flanks, um, if they can put some pressure on your lower back. What happens is, especially with like tummy tucks, um, breast reductions, things like that, you're usually kind of walking a little bit hunched over and that's not our normal. Our normal is good posture. And so your, your lower back muscles really can kind of take a beating. So for someone to just kind of gently put some pressure on your lower back that just feels good, even if they can squeeze your shoulders. I mean, those things, it's, it's amazing how that makes a difference. I'm having a hot flash, people. Hang on with me here. And I'm back. <laughs> so anyways, and the last thing, what was the last thing? I got distracted. Ice, okay, ice is the last thing. I'm a, you know if you follow me at all on any of my social media platforms, I'm a big fan of ice. Now I used to say, you know, ice, 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 of course, following your surgeon's orders. And then if, if a surgeon said, no, don't, don't ice your breast reduction or no, don't ice your tummy tuck, then people would not do ice at all. But here's the thing, if you're super uncomfortable, it is amazing that even if you can't, your surgeon doesn't want you putting ices on, the, on those areas to put, if you're just struggling while you're waiting for your pain medicine to kick in or for you to just kind of find some relief, a nice pack behind here, a nice pack at your lower back. It is amazing how uh, it just kind of helps reset you. Even if you haven't, especially if you have not had a rhinoplasty, I always am wary about people putting anything on top of their heads um, for fear it would fall on a new rhinoplasty. But anyways, if you're having any work to your body, but you have all of a sudden maybe you're having a headache, putting an ice pack on your head, just or even on high on your chest. If your surgeon doesn't want ice here, you can put one high on your chest. I promise, try it, it'll work. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through my hot flash. Um, please follow along, share this with your friends. Um, and if you want to message below any questions, comments, or you can message me through, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can send me a direct message. I'm really good about getting back to people. Thank you for watching, happy healing.